For most Chippewa student-athletes, their main focus is academics and athletics. But for senior captain John Williams, his responsibilities are much greater. The 5'10", 290-pound defensive tackle from Central High School in Miami, Florida is a true family man. At 21 years old, John not only supports his fiance, but he also supports his six-year-old son. For John, coming to CMU was one of the best things that could have happened. Coming up here is a new atmosphere. You just changed your mindset, the way you think, and the way my coaches, you know, from Coach Jones, from Coach Enos, my, all my defensive line coach, they instilled a, a certain discipline in me to make me, you know, want to go get up and go to class, want to get up and do good on the football field, want to get up and be a good family man. You know, it's just so much that CMU has brought to my life. It, it made me a better person, a better man, you know, a better, a, a better dad, a, just a better all-around person, player. You know, it's, it's big to be here, and, and I, I want to trade it for a world. On June 12, 2005, John's world as he knew it changed forever. His son, Jalen Williams, was born. When he was born, it just kind of like made me change my life the way I was. Like, you know, like I got to do something. I can't just worry about me no more. I have to support my family. Though he has a family at home, he also has an extended family. This family plays football on Saturdays. During John's career at CMU, he's learned quite a bit from former captains like Nick Ballore, Dan LaFever, and Brian Brunner. Those guys help you get focused. They teach you how to watch film. They teach you how to go hard every play. They teach you the importance of team, the camaraderie, to, to just go all out for them. And it was, it's big because we're family and they treated me like family. It's nothing more to play against and with some guys that you love. He shares a greater love for his fiance and longtime girlfriend, Kim Brescia. The two met back in the seventh grade down in Miami and have been together ever since. A little while ago, the longtime couple announced they would be getting married on Sunday, September 25, 2011, the day after the Chippewas do battle with the Michigan State Spartans in East Lansing. We were trying to find a perfect day way to tie the knot and our families be able to come. And most of my family are going to come see Michigan State game. You know, you know, we've been talking about a wedding day, and that just seemed to be the perfect day to set it up. For that Michigan State game and throughout the 2011 season, Williams will be serving as one of four co-captains for the Chippewas. Man, it was really big, man, that my, my peers, my coaches, that they see me as a captain because uh, that's special. Uh, as the season going on, as the winter workouts going on, we work really hard. That's our time to bond, you know, and they guys see you working hard. And, and, and when that day comes where guys want to nominate your captain, it's real special to me. John's had a terrific career at CMU. He led his team to a 2009 MAC championship and has registered 78 tackles and six sacks. His biggest fan has been in the stands cheering him on. Uh, this, this is your dad's last season playing college football. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you sad? Happy. You're happy? Why are you happy? Because I'm happy I get to go to this game for a lot. Both Jalen and Kim Brescia have attended many games over the years. The Williams family will never forget last year's Western Michigan game in Mount Pleasant. It was cool last year when we beat Western, uh, I think Vernon caught the phone book, I recovered it. And I recovered it, and I took it to the sideline and threw it to her in the stands. I still got that ball. That's a moment in John's playing career where he shared his football success with his family. John does this time after time. Along with that, John wants to get back to the community. After his playing days are over in Mount Pleasant, he wants to go back to Miami to help inner city children. Growing up in Miami, Florida, you see a lot of kids that uh, that don't have a lot of opportunities, especially the opportunity that I got to be a D1 college football player. And uh, there's so much stuff they can get caught up into. So my whole dream, my whole goal was to, you know, come here, do good, get an education, and one day go back and help those kids out. You know, uh, I'm double majoring in child development and social youth studies, so I just want to go back and help them, you know, show them it's a way out of here. You, I mean, you don't have to be a football player. You can use your school smarts, you know, go to school, just do something positive. You don't have to be negative. As you can tell, CMU is a place that is near and dear to John Williams' heart. John is a football star, a family man, and a double major scholar athlete who's scheduled to graduate next year. 
All of those responsibilities will be difficult for most, but John embraces these challenges. You know, I've been blessed to, to even be here. God made it a way that I can handle all that. You know, some guys can't handle it, but it's not even a pressure to me. It's relaxing. When I leave here to go home and play with my son, it's relaxing. When I leave my son to go to school, it's, 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 it's relaxing because I know that my education that I'm getting is modeling him. He see dads going to school, and he gonna want to do it one day. So it just works out for the best. 